वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट फाइव वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इंटरअप स्ट्रक्चर इन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एट जीरो एट फाइव इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज इंटरअप वॉट आर द स्टेप्स ऑफ इंटरअप कंपेरिजन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड हार्डवेयर इंटरअप एज वेल एज विथ हार्डवेयर इंटरअप आई हैव एक्सप्लेन वन कंप्लीट वीडियो राइट सो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो I'll explain you complete structure of all interrupt with microprocessor 8085. So this video will be quite interesting, and you should see this entire video so that you can understand how exactly all the interrupts are happening, and how we can understand individual interrupts along with the priorities and execution. So let us see all those things step by step. So when we talk about interrupts in microprocessor 8085, then there are a total five pins. RST 7.5, 6.5, 5.5, 5 trap and INTR by which we receive interrupt in 8085 microprocessor. And in terms of priorities, you should know highest priority is there with trap. Then RST 7.5 that is having second priority. Then third is there with RST 6.5. Fourth priority is there with RST 5.5 and least priority that is there with INTR. now how those interrupts are getting triggered that even you should know so my dear students this trap is getting triggered with age trigger as well as level trigger and only rst 7.5 that is only the interrupt which can get trigger with age trigger after that you will be observing that this rst 6.5 5.5 and intr that is getting trigger as per level trigger signal right now let us try to understand how services will be provided by 8085 whenever interrupt is arising so first of all i'll be talking about intr interrupt so you see whenever there will be level trigger interrupt arising from external device with intr there will be logic one which will happen over here but it doesn't mean that intr will get served as intr is having least priority there are some other conditions even that we need to see you will be observing that to have triggering of intr this interrupt enable flip flop that should give logic 1 to this and gate so whenever this is getting logic 1 and this is having logic 1 at that time there will be interrupt enable with this intr right now this is set reset flip flop which is there with interrupt enable flip flop now with set it is very essential that you will have to write interrupt enable if interrupt enable is executed at set then only there is a possibility that this q is equals to 1 so this is highest priority condition that you must have this set that should have interrupt enable and that should be equals to 1 so before you complete any other interrupt you will have to enable this interrupt so that next time whenever another interrupt is arising at that time it will get served right so this set reset flip flop is having set terminal that is connected with ei means enable interrupt should get executed then only any other interrupt can get service now this reset terminal that is connected with or gate and there are many conditions if di is there means disable interrupt is there then also you will be having reset condition of this int e flag if reset is happening in that case q will be zero remember this so this reset terminal is getting reset by disable interrupt it can get reset by reset signal as well as if any other interrupt is arising then also it will get reset why the reason is this intr that is having least priority and if any interrupt is having service right now in that case you cannot have service to this interrupt and you will be observing this reset is getting high so if di is 1 or reset is 1 or any other interrupt is there in that case this reset is equals to 1 means q will be equals to 0 so to have q is equals to 1 what is the condition 
this EI that should get enabled as well as this reset that should be zero, right? As if it is happening, then this Q is equals to one and that will make this one one is equals to one means now this INTR can get served. Now as if INTR is having service right now, in that case what will happen? Microprocessor will send interrupt acknowledgement signal to external device and during interrupt acknowledgement that external device will send any of this RST instruction RST 0 to RST 7 as if external device is sending RST 0 in that case you will be having transfer of control to the location 0000, 0, 0, 0 hex if external device sends RST 5 in that case microprocessor will perform interrupt service routine at location 0028 hex so to remember this RST 0 to RST 7 my dear students you should start from 0000, 0, 0, 0 hex and you'll have to add 8 when you increment this RST instruction by 1 right and that is how you can easily remember these addresses of each of these instructions so that is how INTR is getting executed now let us talk about trap so my dear students trap is having highest priority and it does not need any condition it will get executed immediately once it is identified by 8085 that's why it is age trigger as well as level trigger as if it is missed by this age in that case by level it will get identified that's why age and level both are given with this trap and whenever a trap is arising at the time this call will get executed and how to remember this address so my dear students initially trap was named as RST 4.5 and 4.5 into 8 that will be 36 and 36 in terms of hex it will be 0024 hex that is how you can remember addresses you can even remember RST 5.5, 6.5 and 7.5 as per just multiply 5.5 with 8 you will be having address in terms of hex right now let us talk about RST 5.5 that is having fourth priority it is level trigger whenever that is arising here there will be logic one but it cannot get executed immediately there are some other conditions even we need to check like in sim instruction we need to see this bit m 5.5 it should be zero in sim instruction if m 5.5 bit is zero in that case you see here bubble is there so it will make it to one over here so this is one thing that we need to keep in our mind in sim instruction m 5.5 that should be zero right means you know don't need to mask it if you write one in that case you are masking this rst 5.5 as well as one more condition that is this q should be equals to one over here so you see enable interrupt should get executed before you have execution of this otherwise any of this end gate input is zero then you cannot have output which is performing this RST 5.5 interrupt service right once this inputs are one over here there will be call at 002c hex memory location how this is 002c 5.5 into 8 in terms of hex it will be 002c right now similarly RST 6.5 is level triggered and when that is getting arised with this end gate another input should get checked also right this should be one as well as this seam instructions bit m 6.5 that should be zero it should be unmasked if it is masked then there will be one if it is one then this will be zero you cannot have one at output of this end gate right so it is very compulsory this should be equals to zero so that here after bubble there will be one and this Q of this INTA that is also connected over here so if all these three conditions are one over here with this AND gate then RST 6.5 will get served and program control will get jump at 0034 hex and when we talk about RST 7.5 it is age trigger you see my dear students 
So as it is age trigger, you'll be observing this RST 7.5 that is getting stored inside D flip flop. So here we are having D flip flop and with this D flip flop, as if you are having this age triggering, this D will get one and that will get translated at output of this Q, right? And to clear this D flip flop, there are also some conditions. First condition is RST 7.5 is recognized. Once this RST 7.5 is recognized over here, at that time, this clear signal will clear this D flip flop. Or to clear this D flip flop, there is one more condition that is reset RST 7.5 by SIM instruction. So by SIM instruction, there is a one bit that is reset RST 7.5. In SIM instruction, I'll explain you how it is getting reset. Right, so these two conditions can clear this flip-flop. So let us say here we are having age trigger RST 7.5, this D is getting 1 and that is getting translated over here. So that is one condition. As well as in SIM instruction, we need to see masking of 7.5 bit that should be 0. If it is 1, then you can say you have masked this RST 7.5. So if it is 0, then after bubble, it will be 1 over here, as well as this Q, that should be 1 over here. As if these three conditions are logic 1, then you can solve RST 7.5. RST 7.5 can get recognized and program control will get transferred to 003C hex. So my dear students, you should know this basics. First of all, see this masking can be done with RST 7.5, 6.5 and RST 5.5. Trap will be directly connected over here. This RST 7.5 that is age trigger. So it will get stored inside this D flip flop and we need to clear this D flip flop by two possibilities. One is RST 7.5 over here is recognized. And second is by having SIM instruction, we have reset RST 7.5. By these two ways, we can clear this D flip flop. And to enable all these interrupts, this INT flip flop as per set reset, it should provide logic 1 over here. To provide logic 1, EI should be equals to 1, and this R should be equals to 0. This R will be 0 as if this DI reset and any other interrupt is 0. Remember this, right? And this is what we are connecting it with all the interrupts other than trap, right? And with INTR, you will be receiving reset instruction from external hardware and then you will be providing transfer of program control for interrupt service routine. But with this hardware interrupt like trap, RST 5.5, 6.5 and 7.5, well-defined locations are there. So that is how complete interrupt structure is there. I think now it is clear to you how we can execute any interrupt in microprocessor 8085. And still, if you have any confusion, you just post that in comment box. I have made total five videos based on interrupts of 8085 in which small, small details are explained, which are essential. And based on that, you can be able to understand how exactly execution of interrupt is happening inside microprocessor. I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.